this year from South Carolina State. Here's a mid-range jumper off by Lindsey. Scrum on the floor. It was Blunt who came up with it. Now the feet ahead to Kaylin West. West on the move. Can she take it herself? She can. That's a bump in the bucket. Hoop and harm opportunity for Kaylin West. There you see Asia Blunt. Further try there for Moten. Not to be. Here comes Brown on the break. And Brown will go all the way. So Tyra Brown, coastal to coastal. And West will take it into front court. And Kaylin West still going. Kicking it now. Here's Tiara Davis looking for that three. And TD for three. Fast break, too, and if you're South Carolina State right now, you need to maybe focus on getting the ball inside a little bit more, but, of course, that's easier said than done, but there's a Coastal's interior defense. Oh, man, what a feed to get it to Brown, and Brown got it from Janine Camp, and that was a pretty dime. If she can learn anything from her sister, as this one is batted away, the turnover created for Coastal, and then Kaylin West will finish it off. Janine Camp created the turnover, West on the other side from Blunt, which doesn't happen very often, but it did that time. Pull up jumper on the other side, rims out from Alston. Coastal ball, they'll fling it ahead. Brown to West, and Kalen West will lay it in. It started with Asia Blunt. Blunt, Brown, West, two points. Kalen West, thinking about where to go. She'll get it to Tyra Brown, and Tyra Brown will hit the three ball on the feed from Kalen West, and how about that? Brand new number 12 hitting that three. So going back and forth, here's Kalen West. West stopping close to the free throw line. Blunt kick out. Here's a three that's good again. Tyra Brown from the other side of the floor. Doesn't matter. She can hit a three from anywhere. Now we're starting to get into full force. West flings Brown. She wants another three, and she got it. Tyra Brown, three threes in the third quarter. Wilson. With under five to go, and Coastal on their way to 1-0. and oh. This one got broken away, and Alana Denson, she'll get the steal, and then she'll go all the way to the other end and finish. The worst is going to be in most of those battles tonight. It's an inbound here to Janae Camp, and Camp will go up. She got it to fall on the foul, so the hurt and the hoop for one Janae Camp. There's Hannah Sadler from the foul line. 7-2, Georgia State has an early five-point edge. Here's Tiara Davis for three, and TD gets all three on the other side. Blunt lost the basketball, but it ricocheted back to her. West feeding it inside, contorting around and getting the basket. Oh, man, Ashley Sintigen, she is good. The transfer from Marshall and the spin and win for Sintigen. We're back, and time now for By the Numbers. Entering this weekend, Damien, a look at Georgia State and Coastal Carolina, how they match up. Georgia State has that edge in points per game. Again, we're talking about limited action so far this season, but the stats still make a difference. Otherwise, everything seems to be pretty well even. How about the rebounds per game, though? Coastal has a five-board edge. That point will be. Here's Tyra Brown with it, but hopefully it is soon. Tyra Brown, and she wanted to get it to Asia Blunt. Blunt now clamoring and yelling for the basketball and oh yeah give it to Asia Blunt feels good to say that again and Blunt's going to produce down low flip over to the other sideline and Coastal Carolina's upcoming schedule you see head coach Jada Williams there at Troy next weekend on the road and then we are back here against Georgia Southern and South Alabama which will kick off the first handful of five in a row here from Conway remember tomorrow we return at four o'clock the entire Shauna Clear Sports Network team as we fly overhead and we're flying in to the final game of a back-to-back, -back. it's Georgia State and Coastal Carolina here from Myrtle Beach. Asia Blunt, who struggled last night, she was well defended throughout, she missed. Now Sintigen down there to try and help her out. Sintigen, it rainbows over, tracked down by Tyra Brown to Deja Richardson with a hand in her face for three, and Richardson canned it despite the perimeter D. Richardson. Moving and faking, Tyra Brown getting it back to a wide open Ashley Sintigen who's just sitting under the basket and that's going to force an early Georgia State timeout. The energy is back for the Shauna Clears. Tania Worth last night had 17 points to lead Georgia State. Here's Tiara Davis with a three. TD in the corner knocks it down and Coastal Carolina within seven with 90 seconds left in the first quarter.
our very eyes. Here's another stop on defense. Denson will drive. She'll go all the way. She missed it, but Olivia Smith was there to say, hey, I'll help you out, and I'll still get two points out of the possession. This is, of course, coming with assistant coach A.G. Hall taking over as Georgia State had a COVID issue. Now a turnover, and here's Deja Richardson. Richardson takes advantage in the backcourt, and Coastal has a lead for the first time this weekend against Georgia State. Richardson. Now to Asia Blunt, trying out a three. And A.B. the bucket from distance, 42-40 Coastal. Here's a three that is way off, badly missed by Tania Worth. Richardson on the other side, missed it. Brown cleans it. Camp lays it in for two, and it's four quick points for Coastal Carolina out of the break, and they lead 46-40. to mismatch against Ferguson. Davis up and off. She stays with it, however, and Tiara Davis. That's a way to utilize the six shooters. There we go. It's Janae Camp with an N1, and Camp is fired up. That follows the Asia Blunt basket. So four quick points for Coastal Carolina. We may be seeing some building blocks for tomorrow, Dee. Yes, driving to Antoinette Lewis, she's double teamed. That's probably a good decision. It also creates a turnover. Here's Tyra Brown, and Brown will lay it in. She got it through two defenders. Richardson, feed to Blunt, and Asia Blunt got a credit to work from Richardson. Richardson, Tiara Davis, corner three ball is good. TD for three. Well, Asia Blunt, a bucket as head coach Jada Williams describes her for Coastal Carolina. Entering the weekend, Damian, fourth in scoring in the Sun Belt, 14 points per game, 12th in boards, second in free throw percentage, and she's got eight points and four rebounds so far today. That's Sintagen trying for it. West came in there to keep it alive. Here's Tiara Davis for three, and it was West with the dime, and TD did the rest. Again, don't look now, but Coastal is really starting to fix these turnovers. Only 12 for Coastal so far. Richardson with the three try, it's good. Deja Richardson for three. They always talk about nice people finishing last. I don't know about that. Look at Tiara Davis. Knocks into our camera operator on the baseline, says I'm sorry, and then gets rewarded with a three. So come on, nice people finishing last. That's not true. She got three points out of it. Been in a hurry, got to watch it. Troy moves quick. They missed that one. That was Jasmine Robinson who missed it right at the rack. Here's Kaylin West on the other side, and West will lay it in. 10 to 6, Coastal lead. Olivia Johnson just missed on that three, and another one of those double digit scores entering at about 13 and a half PPG. West, thinking about it, takes it and makes it. And that's a three for West. Knocked around. Richardson took it away from Johnson. West, bounce, Brown, two points. Big issue. Remember last year when both of these teams went, you know, into the 100 point territory. Here's Richardson, a chance at redemption right before the horn sounds. Will it count? Looks like it will. So Richardson missed on her last try down the floor. That time, everything worked in sync, and it is a single digit game as we get set to head to half. 45 37, Troy leading Coastal here on ESPN+. Plus. We'll come back for the second half after a halftime pause. Conway with Troy ahead by 10. Troy top in the East Division, Coastal in the basement. So the best and the worst in the East Division going at it. But Coastal trying to hang in there. This is awfully tough to see how good Troy has been this season, 17-5. and five. That's a three-point difference in terms of how these two teams have scored this season. There's Tyra Brown for three. That'll help. Point game again. Missed it. Did Karanga. Coastal. Move in a hurry. Tyra Brown on the other side. Coastal. The toss and the make. And it's all Tyra Brown. It's been true work this season for Coastal. In, in every area, 
that you could find some struggle in. They have found it. Here goes Asia. Blunt for three. Blunt likes taking that shot occasionally. A little step, and then she committed. Back down to a five-point game. Six shots, and you're only using three, four seconds of the shot clock sometimes. That's how you know, Troy's knocking on the door here of 100 points as Kaylin West puts in a three. Looks good on the box score, especially for Kaylin West, who's having one of her best games.